How to fulfill orders on Shopify Zendrop step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can use Zendrop with Shopify and how you can integrate it and fulfill your orders with Zendrop. So let's get into it. Now, the first step is obviously to install Zendrop. So we're going to go into settings, go into apps and sales channels and open up our Shopify app store. Once we do that, we are going to download the Zendrop application. So we're going to go on ahead and search for Zendrop over here. Zendrop is a dropshipping platform that enables you to add products from all over the world and have them directly shipped to your customers. And that is the most frequent question most people have is how does the payment work? Because if you are receiving money from your customers, how does it go to the supplier? How does the supplier ship the items and all of that? So let's get started with setting up Zendrop and I will show you guys exactly step by step how you can do everything. So I will go on ahead and create my account. And what I'm going to do is log into my pre-existing account oh i already have logged in so and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to log in to my zendrop account and link that to my shopify store so we're just going to wait a couple of seconds for our connection to be completed so we can begin importing products and fulfilling orders so i will connect a store and i already have zendrop installed so we're just going to redo that over here and once we've done that, you guys will see on the left, you will have your Shopify store, which is our Meraki store, this store over here. And we can get started with adding product. Now, one thing to note is that you always have to set up billing, payments, shipping, and taxes before you do that. So we will go into Zendrop. And in Zendrop, I can go into my customer center and I can click on billing. Now, the billing section will show me my own billing methods, so the payment methods, the current plan I have, the invoices, and the credit that I have on Zendrop. Below that, I have notifications and my basic profile information. On the right, you will see all of your orders, your products, and the orders you have received. Now, I will import this simple product, so I'll just take, let's say we have this bracelet, and I will click on add to my products. And then from here, I'm going to insert or, you know, take this listing and directly publish to my store. And then I'm just going to publish it as it is to my store. Now you will see that it is currently being published to our store. Now, to be able to receive these dropshipping orders, you have to go into your Shopify settings and then make sure that you have set up your plans and your actual payment methods. So go into payments over here and add a particular type of payment method. So this could be Shopify payments. This could be any type of payment method. However, if you add a manual payment method, then fulfillment of your product is not going to be as easy. So make sure to always add a particular particular payment method where the payment is going to be immediately received like google pay apple pay the customers are paying at their checkout they're not going to be paying once the product arrives so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a payment method and this is going to be my bogus getaway and you can just search for the bogus getaway in the payment capture method to automatically add checkout or automatically when the order is fulfilled or you know different methods are available but i'm going to click on manage over here and we have a bunch of different shopify payment options but i'm just going to deactivate this for now and once we have done that we can see our supported payment methods and our payment capture methods and we are going to go on ahead and see all our providers and i'm going to add the bogus or for testing getaway to be able to show you guys a simple transaction with Zendrop and shopify now you guys can see your bogus testing is always going to give you a option one to simulate a approved transaction two to simulate a de decline transaction and three to simulate a getaway failure and this is what you're going to place instead of a credit card number now, once we have our product ready, so this is our product, this is our waterproof bracelet that has been set up. I'm going to click on add to cart and click on checkout over here. Once I go into the checkout, I will just add some random information and then I will add this. Now, once we do that, we are just going to add a address like this. 
And then below that, you have your expiration date. So we're just going to do that over here and a security code. Now you can click on pay now over here to complete the order. Now, if you guys can see a issue with the billing and the shipping, you can go on ahead and just proceed with your order. And usually for bogus getaways, your orders will be processed. So I'm just going to wait for this to be completed. And I'll set up shipping for everywhere. So I'll just click on over here. And we have different types of expected delivery dates. We have shipping methods. And I am going to add my general shipping, which is going to be for all our zones. And this is going to be go to markets. And we're going to set up our new market on Shopify as well. So I'll click on add market. And I will add all the countries and regions like this all markets and then click on add market like this now once we have set this up i can just add a rate for my markets that i have inserted so we have currently zero rates but what i'm going to do for our markets is go into shipping and set up our shipping and taxes for that so we're going to add our general shipping rates and this is going to be for our shipping zone of all markets click on done add a rate and I'll just use a flat rate and the rate is going to be $1 and click on done. Once I've done that, I will redo my checkout on our Shopify store just to make it easier for us to import from Zendrop. I'll just go into online store over here, go into our Zendrop product and we're going to click on add to cart checkout over here and still not getting a uh, shipping so this actually might be an issue with zendrop now if you have set up your shipping correctly and you're still facing this issue that means zendrop might not be drop shipping in your area or the customer's area so if i go on ahead and remove all this information let's say this is going to be mccullen Street, and let's say this is going to be new york new york like this so now our particular order has been placed and I can go back into my orders on Shopify. And once I go into my orders on Shopify, we can see that this is the order that has been created. This is all the information. This is the Zendrop order. So once you go into that particular order, you're going to click on request fulfillment and this will send a order note to Zendrop and you will click on send fulfillment request. Now, when you have a fulfillment request sent, your payment getaway is going to be displayed and if it was in test mode this is not going to be sent to you know the payment won't be sent however if we go into our orders on Zendrop we can go on ahead and take a look at the order information and you will see this is a customer order that has been received it is currently unpaid so you will see that if a order is unpaid you can click on fulfill order to get the order fulfilled and the item to be sent to the customer and you can do this on two options you have the product cost the shipping cost and then you can use your own credit or you will be charged on your own shopify account to fulfill that order if the customer payment has not come through so once you click on fulfill order this will be and click on fulfill order once more your product will be ready to be shipped to your customer however keep in mind that there might be a high risk of fraud so always always go for product fulfillment only if you know that these are the legitimate orders where you have uh, where you are potentially going to be receiving the payment in a few minutes or you know in a manual payment method so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe